The building creator allows you to customize entertainment buildings, factories, city halls, and houses. I'm creating a factory. Each building creator has a different palette of specialized parts. Factories can include industrial parts such as fans, vents, and pipes. Before I can work with these, I'll need to create the walls by adding a body. Click on any body and drag it over the dais. Release the mouse button when it's positioned where you'd like it. Use the morph handles to customize the shape. To shrink or enlarge, mouse over the part you just added and scroll the mouse wheel up or down. Bodies and roofs can be placed anywhere on the dais. To remove a part, click on it and drag it away from the dais. Switch pallets to access different kinds of parts. There are also connectors, doors, windows, specialty parts, and details. Connectors can be used to make branching towers or to link two bodies together. You've probably noticed that asymmetry is allowed in the building creator. Click away from your building to deselect parts or click on a part to select it. By holding tab with a part selected, you can bring up advanced morph rings. Clicking and dragging the rings allow connectors, doors, windows, specialty parts, and details to be rotated on all three axes. Now I'll add a door. Doors can be added to bodies or roofs. On doors and windows, morph handles can also change the architectural style of the part. As a general rule of thumb, pulling the forward-facing handle away from the part will bring out a more intricate pattern, while pushing the handle towards the part will simplify the design. You can experiment with this. Windows, specialty parts, and details can be added to bodies, roofs, connectors, and doors. With windows added, your building will light up at night in-game. Specialty parts will help distinguish your building type. Many of these parts animate when selected. Click or mouse over the part to pause the animation so you can easily move it around. Lastly, detail parts add flair to your building. For more advanced customization, you can hold control when selecting a part then drag it up or down. Or shift and move it only horizontally. This can help you finesse the placement or can be even used to create floating parts. Also, you can hold Alt when clicking on a part to copy it. You'll notice that if a part has other parts pinned to it, all of the parts will be copied as well. To correct any mistakes, you can press the undo or redo button. Painting your building is easy. 
you can choose a complete style to color the whole thing. Click on the complete styles palette, then select any thumbnail to paint your whole creation. To clear all paint, you can click on the complete style blank paint thumbnails. With partial styles, you can control the look of walls and roofs, windows and doors, or details separately. Just select what kind of parts you want to paint, choose the thumbnail, then pick a custom color. You can hold down the color swatches to bring up even more options. Paintbrush mode allows maximum control over the color of your creation. Building vehicle and UFO creators all have paintbrush mode. Click on a texture to select it, then click on a color. To apply a coat, mouse over your building. The selection highlight shows the region your paint will be applied to. When you're finished, name your building and save it.